We're just going to get the through line out here. Pull rope. Just going to pull it over. These are uh, the steel high rated uh, KN carabiners I use for my pulling and rigging. This one's 50K. This is the Big Dan. And this one here is the uh, DMM Wales 45KN one. So I like to use the heavy duty ones. All right. So you can just drop this in the out here. Yeah. I don't know. It might be fun to climb. We might climb this one. Let's do it here. So I have two uh, throw line cubes. One is a beat up one that I bring with me. Uh, for like in case I ever get it stuck in the tree. So line that I don't care for is the skinny red one, the orange uh, line. I hate that line. I like the thicker yellow line here. I don't know what it's called. I just got it off Amazon. Anyways, looks like it's climbing this up and cut it out. Huh. So dropping it. Yeah, we can drop it this way, I guess. Yeah. I didn't bring my spice with me. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we're gonna do here. Cat bird. You cat bird. Right. Rule number one: When it comes to tree work, never listen to the homeowner. <laughs> Yeah, we can drop in the yard. My Doberman? No, he passed away. See, that was like 20 years ago, man. It was not 20 years ago. Maybe 10. It was, uh, no. Actually, I got him right after I think I started, uh, Best now, and uh, I was there. You know, I've been there for almost 17 years now. He lives only nine, he only lived at nine years old. I was gonna say, he hasn't been dead for 20. That I know because huh? I remember seeing him. Uh, rope runner, pencil pantine on my foot, my right foot. That's it. All right, you always gotta wait, test the line. All right, all right, there we go. All right, so good thing is. If a tree does fall with a lot of branches on it, your fall is going to be cushioned somewhat. That's nice. True. All right. All right. Echo at 2511, which I should have bought my 355, but YouTube, I thought it was going to be a pull down, not a cut down, not a trim down. So, it is what it is. We'll make do with it. You know what? I like this one on here. So, Echo CS 2511. For trimming here and also in Centerville. Alright, All right, Brian, I got everything I need. Let me see. Right. Look at that tree, man. That thing's cut up, isn't it? So you said that uh, your stepson did all that? Did he? So. You notice how you see the redness of it and then that white? That, that's what gave me the clue as to what it is. Uh, if it was okay. real cedar, that white yeah. would be twice as long, twice as big. So that's why these are great for, for building. More right. the, the, the red part of it. All right. It's also nice too when you have a lean like this because as you use your foot center, you can go up easily. All right. I see somebody cut right here even. 
He got all the way up here? Somebody yeah. got all the way up here? He cut right above your head, too. Oh, wow. What, with the ladder? I don't know how he got up there. Oh, man. No. No, no ladders, all right? <laughs> Whatever you do, man. Do not use ladders on chainsaws, man. They do not mix. Unless I don't you. Know how I got up there. I wasn't home. All I know is I got home and there was freaking branches all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Is that is that them right there? Yeah. Alright. And they want it down too, right? Oh, they don't care. Huh? They don't care. They knocked theirs down already. What their tree? Yeah, I'm telling you it was right there. This is your tree, right? Obviously. <laughs> saw with me man i never go up without my pruning saw but we're only going to trim the back weight anyhow right. what's that i know right thank god man next time i gotta bring my spice with me every time anytime there's a takedown i gotta bring my spice with me all right seriously All right, so this is going to be 50 bucks and a six-pack of beer now. Yeah. What's that? Oh, yeah. I don't get drunk, but I like beer. All right. These next, I'm gonna take the top out. You're probably gonna go. I'm gonna go to go that way with it. Whoa. All right. Oh, I can't hear so good. Hold on.
That's it. Well, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this down a good bit, leave a tail so I can pull it down once I get uh, out of the tree. So you'll see. I mean, it can actually stay in the tree while. What's that? Right, right. Huh? Until I get this in there, correct. Let me uh, get this situated here. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie this around here. We're gonna leave enough tail down there so that I. Yep. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna tie it off right here. I think. Yeah. Right here is good. I don't need to leave the tail, man. I ain't even really need to leave the tail, buddy. Let's go ahead and tie this around here real quick. I gotta bring my. Ooh! I got some kids over there. What are the kids doing? Huh? Somewhere over there. Are those your kids? Huh? Oh, okay. Your kids are? What are you doing in Salvador? What am I doing? Alright, just regard that one. Huh? What? Your wife's mom's husband. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Huh? He hasn't been back in 20 years. Oh, okay. Both your sons? Your stepsons, right? Ah, I see. Okay, there's that. All right, let's cut these limbs off. Stay back, bro. Let's cut these off real quick here. Huh? I'm gonna do these limbs here, then top part, and let it fall that way. All right. Let's see.
Good morning, sir. What's that? What do you say? Nope. Told you. What's that? I didn't wake up no dog, you did. What's that? No, I'm gonna leave it be. No. No, we're good. It's gonna get caught up in the thing, so I can leave it on the tree. Yeah, we're gonna just drop it down that way. Cool. Good. Yeah, get that off my rope, please. Move those back. No, don't worry, I can get down. That's not the issue. I'm going towards my gravity of tying in here, buddy. I got it. I'm good. All right, you gotta, gotta have a little fun. Nothing but a stick. All right. All right. What are you saying? What are you saying, bud? Huh? Oh, okay. What's that? All right. Yeah, good for you, right? Oh yeah, I love the smell. You know, I love the smell of cup wood. No, I gotta, I gotta, re, I gotta reposition it. Now I gotta reposition my rope. Yeah. good all right so here's your you know here here's your damage spot obviously your this is where your lead broke off one lead right is this where it broke off at I think so. and then everything else down below was when when your stepson cut it right so this is the damage part obviously you know it's pretty strong still you know uh but you know it's hard to say you know longevity of a tree once it's damaged or infected yeah i mean the worst thing is somebody being out here and it falling down it wouldn't do really any property damage honestly i mean the lane is kind of going in that direction right there right. it would hit the tree but you know hey that's better than life if that's the case you know but in any case yeah, yeah I, I didn't think it was gonna fall. It was 
Right, right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my rope around, get it down here, and put it down here. So hold on one second. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut the top out. I'm gonna cut these off here, then we gonna cut the top right there. All right, so that's what we're gonna do there, homie. Huh? No, I'm gonna do it from right here. Will you uh? Tell you what. Uh. Yeah, go ahead from untie it from the base tie down there for me, please. Yep. Yeah, amigo. I'm gonna tie it off right there. Cut that top over. All right, that's the running bowling with the Yosemite tie off. All right, no, you're not. Yeah, all right. All right. Yeah. Seventy-one homeowner edition farm boss, baby. All right. That tip was like. There we go. What's up? It was just barely long enough. 
Yeah. Oh no, I would have gone on the other side and cut it. So a 20 inch bar can cut a 40 inch diameter down. You just gotta work around it. Yeah. Yeah, I had a little bit of rot in there. I was gonna say, yeah. So smells good, doesn't it man? You gotta love that smell. Alright. One down, trim to go.